Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush. And today I thought we would just mess around a bit in friendly matches here with the Dark Angel and the Necromancer. And the reason why is because a giant Dark Angel is always fun, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do with the Necromancer, and this can get very, very interesting. So first match here, I wanted to try and just see what the largest Necromancer I could basically make was with just skeletons. So I decided to use a necromancer to just feed the dark angel skeletons and then just see what it happens, what happens basically and how large it can get. So again, basically just skeletons here. And I figured it would get pretty large. It didn't quite get as large as I maybe would have thought, but um if only, if only I could do, like, the special game modes, it would be really, really fun. Like, if I could make this, if I could redo this in storm mode, I think it would probably, like, break the game. <laughs> um, being able to do the special game modes in friendly matches probably would break the game. <laughs> I'm still kind of thinking if I do a match where I just face off Necromancer, Necromancer with uh, as many skeletons as possible, I could probably crash the game. Just because you can basically crash the game and double mana speed mode just from doing that because at a certain point the game can't handle skeletons or maybe it's my device can't handle them that's possible too i do have an ipad mini 4 so it's not the most recent device i'm hoping to get it upgraded soon to an ipad mini 5 as you can see though this dark angel is getting quite large I know some people think the friendly matches are kind of boring, but there's still, like, there's so much I can experiment and mess around with. That's just kind of interesting. Especially since I bothered to actually make an alt account. Um, yeah, I probably should have gone with Fortify there, but that one still turned out pretty interesting. I mean, it doesn't look quite as large as, like, some of them, but it's still pretty large. I mean, once they get large, though, I don't know the larger versions of the dark angel they all kind of start to look similar partly because the top of the dark angel starts to go off the screen so it's hard to really tell how much it's grown anymore um but some of these other matches here i tried i believe this one i went for metamorph and then the one after this i tried to do some dark angel uh like stacks with the necromancer and I tried to, I mixed it with the angel, and you'll see that in a bit. And I tried to see if just two stacks with angels and giant uh, dark angels and necromancers could, like, which side would actually be able to win. So we're going to do some of that later, too, in the uh, match. Um, but this one, I was just going for feeding the dark angel with giant growth and then using metamorph it is usually pretty impossible though to actually get ones this size in a lot of matches i did manage to do it in double mana speed this was right after the dark angel was released i did manage to get a really big one in double mana speed mode but usually i haven't seen them get this large in like regular matches you usually have to be messing around with someone. Um, but when this card gets fed like a lot of stuff, it is pretty crazy. Like, it's it's a pretty crazy card. Usually, though, opponents are pretty on top of it, and they just don't allow it to ever get to this point. Or because it's just a one-lane card, you know, they can just constantly delay it. But look right here. I got the Metamorph down. That's some serious power right there. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage I just did to that castle. <laughs> so here we go with the angel stack with the uh, necromancer. First, what I wanted to do in this match was wait for the necromancer. Because my main has the necromancer. My ult does not have the necromancer. So I was waiting for the necromancer and then I'm going to metamorph it with my ult. And that is how I'm going to get the necromancer on there. I guess until it arrives in the shop. I do have gold to buy in the shop, but I haven't seen it yet. So here we go. I metamorph the Necromancer. And then from here, it's pretty much just spam everything out there as much as possible. 
Now, at first I was using the gusts of wind, but then after a while I realized that um, the stacks can actually hold up against each other pretty well. Although right here they didn't, but if the Dark Angels are of relatively even power, the Angels will actually kind of hold them so that it takes a really long time for them to to get each other. Um, most of what I end up metamorphing, though, I probably could have changed this a little bit, but most of what I ended up metamorphing were Angels. I think if I waited to play the Angels a little bit, that could have changed things, but... It's really interesting, though, with all the Angels and all the Necromancers, because it really creates a situation where it's hard for the stack to actually die, especially since with more than one Necromancer, if one of them goes down, it spawns in the back, and then it keeps respawning the other ones as they die. So it's a really interesting dynamic, actually. And that's why I think that doing some more Necromancer stuff in friendly matches would actually be really, really interesting. And as you can see right here, this one is actually approaching a draw. Like, I can't seem to actually get either side to break, which is pretty funny. I mean, they sort of are breaking, but because of the Necromancers, it's, like, really difficult, actually. I guess it is clear that the uh, left side is winning at this point, but... Still holding pretty good. And then I tried to slow it down, but it didn't slow down. Still, that one ends without an actual winner. So I did one more. And this one, I this one I decided rather than waiting for the Necromancer, I was just going to go with playing all the cards straight off the bat. So, but what you'll see happens here is I end up knocking in the Necromancer because I didn't purposely metamorph it. Um, I tried to metamorph it, but there's so many other cards out there that it was actually a pretty low chance of getting a metamorph, unfortunately. That's why I feel like I kind of have to metamorph the Necromancer right off the start, because otherwise it doesn't really happen. So this one, just trying to see, you know, so Necromancers versus non-Necromancers but the Dark Angel on the right actually gets a lot larger. So even though the left side has Necromancers, this one gets interesting because I end up getting more... It's either more Angels or more Giant Growths on the right side. And... With this many Angels, to some extent, it kind of comes down to... Which side has a larger Dark Angel at a certain point. Because if it's large enough that it can one hit the other Dark Angel, then, or especially two hit it, then the Angels don't really come into play as much anymore. See, as you can see, I start growing the one on the right side, and even though it's healing back up like immediately, it's getting taken out so quickly that the Angels don't even have time to heal it. And starts just powering through that stack. This is pretty crazy though, I have like over 10 Angels out there. And here we go with the showdown. Which side will win? As you can see, the left side has Necromancers, but it's just not mattering because those Dark Angels are getting like one or two hit. I think they're getting one hit by the stack on the right side. So even though they're coming back to life, it doesn't matter because they're not even hitting the other stack. <laughs> but it looks like in the end, the other stack isn't going to reach my castle because... I have too many angels out there and they just keep resurrecting them and they're just blocking that stack from being able to reach my castle. Um, just pausing it there to show you basically the angels are just respawning like skeletons would and they're just delaying them like crazy. So I don't know. I thought this was kind of cool to just mess around and I think I might try some more Necromancer stuff in the future. That was pretty interesting, actually. So leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know, you, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content I should create. Maybe subscribe if you're new to my channel for more Castle Crush content. And let me know if you have any other ideas for Castle Crush videos, Castle Crush 
or other mobile games, whatever it may be. And I'll keep trying to look and experiment with new things. Probably hopefully try and make a bunch of Castle Crush stuff still as well and keep it in the mix here. So maybe subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos.